Hi, my name is Scott Lindley with Maple Systems. This video will cover the installation and layout of Mapware 7000. Mapware 7000 is the programming software used to create and edit projects for the Maple Systems HMC 7000 series products. To install Mapware 7000, insert the Maple Systems Mapware 7000 installation disk and follow the on-screen instructions. We suggest installing Mapware 7000 in the default location selected by the installer. With Mapware 7000 installed, the application shortcut can be found in Start, All Programs, Maple Systems, Mapware 7000. When the software is started, the initial project selection frame will appear on the right side of the screen. This screen allows the creation of a new project opening a project from the directory, and a list of projects that have been recently opened. When New is selected from the Project Selection window, a dialog appears. This dialog box is used to select the product and model to be used in the project. Once the OK button is selected, the Project Configuration dialog appears. Here the project title and directory are assigned. Also on this dialog is a location for a description of the project. This can be used for any notes desired. The author's name can be entered in the author field. The password field will password protect the project. If a password is created, the password will be required every time the project is opened. If the password is lost, there is no way to recover the project. The other tabs on the Project Configuration dialog are discussed in the Communications, Alarms, and Data Logging chapters of the HMC 7000 Programming Manual. Press the OK button to continue. The toolbars and menus change depending on which portion of the project is selected. When the Screen Development window is being displayed, the Draw toolbar and Layout toolbar are present. These toolbars change to the Instruction Toolbar and the Project Toolbar when the logic blocks are being developed. To add I.O. modules, go to the I.O. Allocation folder in the Project tree, select Expansion, and double-click on Slot 1 in the right pane. From the I.O. Allocation dialog box, select the tab of the slot that will be configured with an I.O. module. In the Model drop-down box, select the desired I.O. module. For more information about the I.O. modules, see the video about expansion modules. When the OK button is pressed, the Address Range field in the right pane will show the now configured addresses for the I.O. data points, registers, and bits associated with the expansion module. Create a text object on Screen 1 and change the size to 20 by 28 so the text will be easily visible on the screen during simulation and on the unit. To run the project in simulation mode, go to the project menu and select Run. The Run selection will simulate the screens and memory of the HMC, but not the logic blocks. The simulation will appear and the screens and bezel functions will be functional. To close the simulation, click the Close button in the top right corner. To build the file to be downloaded to the HMC unit, select the Compile function from the Project menu. The project can now be downloaded to the unit. Go to Project, Transfer, Download. From the Download window, select USB and choose what is to be downloaded. The firmware must be downloaded if the network configuration has been changed. The project consists of the HMI application, the PLC ladder, data, and fonts. The device settings will determine if the unit is put in halt mode before download. The unit will return to run mode after the download, or if the memory locations will be initialized. The Download button can be selected when the settings are all configured. The project will stop, 
and the HMC screen will display a message indicating it is receiving the application over the selected port. Once the project download has completed, the project will appear on the HMC screen and begin operation. For more information about Maple Systems products and configuration, go to maplesystems.com.